So we have this beautiful dog named Crook, named after she was had this crooked tail. Um, but yeah, she was born like this. I delivered her. I've been taking care of her since birth. Mm. This is special to me. No. This is very special to our family. Thank you very much, Dr. All right, it's been so good to meet you. Got it. Got it. And we'll do just a little more now that I'm seeing. So her back left. Named after she was had this crooked tail, so it's C R O O K. She's a pit bull and she's 11 years old, and she's got a lot of rear end issues where it's hard for her to walk. Her owner is Erica. Here's Erica. Hi. And your cousin Angela. Angela. And so we're going to see. Crook has trouble getting up. And remember, my floors are slippery, which everybody hates that about my floors. But remember, this is a human office, not an animal office. So only occasionally do animals come here. But you're here, right? So we'll, we'll get, we need to go to the back of the office where you can lay down on a big mat. So let's see if you can start to get up. Okay, you ready? Use them legs, Crook. You could do a show, Dr. Doug, how you use your All legs, right. Mommy. You show them how you use them legs. Good okay. girl. Good girl. Good. She's going to cross her back legs. Okay. So, there you go, you're on your feet. Good can kid. she walk a little bit yeah, or is it a lot for her? Come on, come on. Come on, mommy, you got this. Good girl. Good girl. She's see the back legs are really weak. See, she's been walking like that her whole life. So she can go slow if she wants. She's excited. Come on. Over to the left. Yeah, we're gonna be on that mat. Come here, over this way, baby. Left, left. Come here, over this way. Sweetie. And if you have to carry her, we can. Yeah, she'll be okay. Right. She lets you know she'll just flop down when she's ready to be carried. All right, so we're gonna stop right here, Crook. Let's spin around so that you can have your photo opportunity, where everybody gets to see your lovely face. All right, good. Good time. May I work with you today, Crook? How do you feel about that? Could I do a little session with you? Now it's a very warm day here in New York City, and she's had a lot. It takes a lot of energy for her to get here, even right. Yeah. So I might need you to sit next to me. Oh, um, and for now, you can sit on this, okay? Yeah, okay, gotcha. And come close. So your hands are on her too. <coughs> So tell us how you found, so this is Erica again. Erica's the owner. Hi. How old was Crook when you got Crook? Where did you get Crook? Okay. Tell us the story about Crook. Okay, well here's the story for Crook. Um, I had my dog, Mofo, and it was my dream to have him a family. Mm -hmm. And there was a dog being very badly abused, so I took her out of that situation. Which were Mofo or <laughs> Crook? No, I have the whole family. Crook is a daughter. Okay. I have the mom, the dad, and their two children from their first litter. Of course, everyone's fixed now. Mm -hmm. um, the father passed away last year. Um, but yeah, she was born like this. I delivered her. I've been taking care of her since birth. Mm. This is special to me. No. This is very special to our family. Thank you very much, Dr. All right. It's been so good to meet you. Does Crook watch... The YouTube channel? Yes, yeah, she watches the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, that's all I care about. Like, she's been dreaming watches, about coming to see does you. Does she prefer the dog videos or does she like the horses and the pigs also? She likes watching the doggies. Yeah, she likes the dogs. Okay. I feel like she's dreaming about coming and like, oh, I can't wait. See, I always feel those two big knots. I rub those every yeah. night. And that's where I am right now. So, I didn't remember. Is it okay if I work with you? Is that okay? All right. So let me start here at the atlas. Just feel this big bump here? Yes. That's supposed to be there. So that's called the external occipital protuberance, and that's supposed to be her. Hers is a little knobby. Yeah, that's but, what I thought. But it's okay, it's normal. 
then these things that you're feeling out on the sides here, feel them right here. So you, you, you use soft hands, okay? So just use these two fingers and slide them down here. So there's a gap yes. here. That's the gap between the atlas and the, and the occiput. The occiput's the, the skull. And then right here are the wings or the side pieces of the first bone. Okay. They're supposed to be there too. Okay. On humans, they're very small. Okay. And on um, animals, especially quadrupeds, they're bigger. And then on a horse, they're gigantic. Oh gosh. But um, on a dog, they wing out and they're called wings of the atlas. Uh, they're also called transverse processes, okay. but we all call them the wings of the atlas. And I'm feeling the, the joint play or the spring. She's got a right atlas, so I'm gonna tilt her head a little bit to that side. Okay. And almost got it, got it. And that's a, and you'll see, she'll just take that in for a minute. And what I was feeling was the atlas has these two wings. So picture my hands as one bone and these two thumbs as the side pieces. This side was tilted up towards the skull and I pulled it down. And it doesn't always make a pop, sometimes it does. But what I'm looking at now is the gap here. Let's rub your little ears and coming down. And here's another knot. So soft fingers, okay? Soft, soft, soft. Okay. Yeah. And that's a knot there. I so I'm going to rub that one out. Here you can even feel it. Put your fingers between my two fingers. There's a knot there. Do you yeah. feel it? So that's one I'm going to rub out. Yeah, I rub her every morning and every yeah. night. I rub her. Um, and um, she's pretty. You know, she's pretty tolerant. I know yeah. you said you saw fingers. But usually, like when I give her like a like a regular yeah. shoulder massage and she's happy. I don't know yeah. if I'm doing something wrong. I no, 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 let, 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 me re, let me restate it. Um, you can be really strong because she's a strong dog. Yeah. But I just mean if you want to feel like problems or subtleties or little changes, okay. that's the soft touch. Okay. Then when you apply the therapy, that's the stronger touch. Okay. This is so exciting, I can't believe you're here. So now I'm on C5, and the hair is making me itch a little bit. Yeah, me so too. She's gonna shed very badly right now. You're right. Because she's so her down. nerves. Yeah. And I'm here on this muscle here. And that's the base of the neck on the right side. Okay. Good, I'm just rubbing in here. Now I always tell people when you have, especially have a senior dog, mm -hmm. a dog that's a little older, you know, chiropractic is not a one-off procedure where you just adjust, sometimes it is, I mean sometimes you make an adjustment and then you have a miracle, right? But usually it's a process. Yes. And um, so if you like what we do today, you can always bring Crook back and you know, we can do another one down the line. Of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. But let's see how much we can get done today anyway, right? You know, I was thinking that myself, like maybe she might benefit trying to come like maybe once a month or yeah, that would probably months, the, every other month, even yeah, that. that would be good. I feel like just anything is good. For was her. it hard to get here today? No, actually, surprisingly, it was it easy. Wasn't so bad. I found a parking garage very close. I was starving. There was a cool little lunch truck across the street. So, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, everything right. worked out well. He's just let me work, but I'm gonna adjust this spot here. Got it. All right. I say got it. A lot of people ask me why I say got it. Well, first of all, I guess it's the thing I always say. It's just kind of a saying. I but, think so but sometimes, I don't sometimes I don't um, get it, and I'll say I didn't get it. But I say I got it when I feel it slip into place, and that one slipped in, so that's why I said I got it. And now I'm dropping down. <coughs> I'm at C6 and C7 right now. There's seven bones in the neck, 13 thoracic bones, and seven lumbars on the yeah, spine. Yeah, okay, because I know how itchy this can be. No, it's okay. <laughs> it is don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, leave it on here because we vacuum that later. So I'm, now I'm still rubbing into the neck. Oh, I still found C6, C7. So now I am applying good, strong pressure, 
But when I really want to feel something, I use light touch to discern what I'm touching. Okay. If I just mush, mush hard, I can't tell what I'm touching. So the lighter touch is for diagnostic, okay. and then the stronger touch with this size dog would be therapeutic. Okay. On a, a tiny dog, you have to stay light on everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but Crook has a lot of good muscles left. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is so wonderful to hear. Oh. I was so afraid back here she was like bone on bone because sometimes the way she's laying, it looks like she is. Now, this is a clicking instrument. Let me do it to your thumb. Okay. And I'm going to get a couple of these spots. All right. Don't got to be scared. Okay, good. Yeah, all right, get that All right. See, like I told yeah. you, that's all she'll do. She would then never. You can, she just farted. Did you smell? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's where it's coming my way. You better walk. Oh, we got a little aromatherapy from you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, she 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 has fecal incontinence, but she cracked herself on the way here, so I was hoping she wouldn't do that to you. All right. Hopefully I don't not. think she will. I didn't bring a change of pants today. No, I'm prepared with a. All right. So now that. she's. This is her thoracolumbar junction, and this is where. We'll see what happens. It smells pretty powerful. Sorry. Okay, you want here's me to check real quick? <laughs> no, there's the bad one. Oh, yeah, she did go to the bathroom. Watch out. Watch out, honey. She did go yeah. to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. Watch out. Let me not get her in it. Yeah, I'm prepared for this because I go through this. This is what happens. This is my real life. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Do you have anything I can do yeah, so, down a little further? Yes. Yeah, so you want to go. I told you I smelled something. So you can go into the kitchen on the kitchen counter is a, a roll of industrial paper towels so let's let the camera roll because this is what happens you know i never try to like make my channel what it isn't <laughs> um this is what i do in my life you got you that real paper so we, we also need some here you get I it spray yeah yeah because i'm holding this spot at the same time so there's some spray under the bathroom in there. Go under the bathroom sink and there's some, right under the sink, there's a spray. You might as well see this, right? I, I should have told you before you started that as soon as she's relaxed, that might happen. It's okay. I'm sorry, it's okay. Well, we got the first time, right? Yeah, she, as soon as she got comfortable, you know, we got to go So I keep here, look at me for a minute. So important thing is I have a job to do. And if, you know, I had these great veterinarian teachers that said, you have to be more focused on the job. So when I'm working with a horse, there's dangers, and I keep my eyes alert to get kicked or to feel a change, to see the horse's ears indicate something bad might be happening. Um, I smelled something with the dog before it happened. Um, it doesn't bother me. I have this incredible focus of what I need to do, and what I need to do is adjust this section right now. So I'm gonna tap this area, because this is where some of her lameness comes from, and this is a very soft tapping instrument. And So my point is, is I don't care that she took a crap, okay? Uh, the, my job is to get the job done, and it's to help this dog. That's all I care about. And it's just poop anyway, who cares? That's why I'm not editing this out, because this is what we have, this is what happens. Yes. When you're working on a dog, especially a senior dog, you know, she just had a release. And uh, so that happens, yes. Yeah, so this is good. That this is where I need you is to to comfort her. Okay. And I'm finding. Usually she loves her back. So this is the sacrum. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay, good girl. It's okay, my good girl. And this is pushing the bone in little by little. So 
good when you're done, honey. So good. Okay. All right. All right. That's All a right, kiddo. Okay. Okay. Cross. I want you to calm down. <laughs> one more. Calm down. One more. One more. That's it. Okay, okay. okay. All done. All better. All better. So here's, here's the thought on this. Here, look at me for a second. So the, the tail is very crooked. But when a dog is 11 years old, we're not going to just re-break it because now the dog is, the tail is calcified. So if I met this dog when she was a puppy and we discovered the bent tail, this tail is almost at a right angle. So it comes up and turns. It's not even a bend. It's a crooked tail. It's like a... It's like a hard left, hard or, left L shape, or, yeah. or a hard right, like an L shape. So over all these years, it's turned into a new bony formation in that direction. I physically could crack it straight, but I would literally be breaking a bone to do it. Why would I ever do that? That's a bad idea. So we leave it. If I met that dog while it was still very cartilaginous, cart, I can't say it, uh, cart, cartilaginous, uh, and still had some flexibility before it calcified, that'd be a time I could straighten it. And I've done that before. But at this age, it would just injure her. Um, let's see if I can show you. So there's, there is that left turn or right turn. So that's, you know, and even here it has new bone formation. So right at this, the apex of that tail is new bone matter. And so we don't change that. So let me talk to you for a second. So let me just tell you what we did. I know it's a little confusing, okay? I adjusted your right atlas. I adjusted C5 on the right, T1, C7. I came down your back. I also adjusted your thoracolumbar junction where T13 meets L1. I dropped down to the sacrum. I adjusted your sacrum. I also adjusted all your lumbars with that vibration instrument. And remember when you pooped on me? That's okay, that was kind of fun in a way too. Because it was, it was an exciting moment for all of us. All right, so let's get you up on this mat, okay? And let's see you walk again, okay? So maybe we'll put this on you. Oh yeah. She can't get flung, okay? And we'll keep her on the mat. Okay. Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here, Mama. Look, I want to see how she gets up herself. Okay. So yes, Use them legs for them. Come on. Use them legs. Are right, ready to go home? Come on. Come on. Use them legs, kiddo. How was that? Yeah, she got up so quick. Come here. She Come here. Come here. Come on. You ready to go home? You ready to go home? You feeling good, girl? You bougie? Got your, got your chiropractor appointment on? Yes, I do see a difference. I do see a difference. All right, you can't run away from mom. I know you want to say hi to a friend. I know you'd like to say hi to a friend, but we can't do that. Come on, come on, come over here. Come see the lady. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. just a little more now that I'm seeing. So her back left hip is out. So hold her for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to do an ASLM pull. This might make her yelp. Okay. No. She's used to me rubbing back there really hard and working the back legs out really hard. It's okay, let her fall. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get on to Stay. the, uh, so this is the Go femoral it's head. Okay. Good. It's okay, buddy. And then we're also gonna do a little bit here on the arm. Oh, yeah. You oh heard that God. pop a little yes, bit. Yes, and she loved it. Okay, good. Let's do the other this side. Is, that's it, girl. Go the other side. <clears throat> wow, this is so cool. Okay. That's her favorite rub. Okay, right in there. All right, let me do one more. Good girl, Crook. Mommy's proud. Okay. And then here's this one. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right, little mama, cozy, cozy, cozy. Cozy, cozy. You'll be feeling like a teenager, huh? You feel like a teenager? Did you do so good with Dr. Doug? You're like a teenager again. Look at you running around. All right. Dr. Doug, thank you. Thank you all right, so we're all finished here. Please leave a comment for Crook. Give Crook some encouragement. 
Okay, how'd you do? All right, are we friends? Yes. Good, thanks for letting yes. me work with you. All right, thanks everybody. So we have this beautiful dog named Crook, named after she was had this crooked tail. Um, but yeah, she was born like this. I delivered her. I've been taking care of her since birth. Mm. This is special to me. 